have a freedie. Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We are 3D printing our way through the D&D 5E Monster Manual. And today we are printing monster number 98, the Afridi. So in the Dao episode, we found this group of genies from Mini Monster Mayhem that we really like, uh, including this fire genie. Uh, and as I mentioned in that episode, Epic Miniatures, they have a, a ton of Efridis and fire genies, both male and female, in a bunch of different poses. And so if you don't like this one from uh, Mini Monster Mayhem, you can definitely check those out. But let's get this Efridi downloaded and printed. Like their Dao cousins, the Afridi just love the idea of enslaving other races and will view any other creature as a potential slave to use to its advantage. Uh, I love the line uh, from the manual that they're deceptive, they're cunning, and they're cruel to the point of ruthlessness. So if your party happens to be on the elemental plane of fire and you need an encounter, here you go. Out of the flames emerges a formidable genie from the elemental plane of fire. Its appearance as intimidating as a blazing inferno with skin that glows like molten lava. Inhabiting realms of unending flame and scorching heat, it commands the power of fire with a mere gesture, surrounding itself with flames that dance to its will. When it becomes aware of the party, the air around it shimmers with heat as it prepares to summon a wall of fire or hurl balls of flame, ready to engulf its foes in the elemental fury of its homeland. So she printed great, and I really need to tip my hat to Mini Monster Mayhem here. These genies are made up of, honestly, the most difficult substances to model in 3D. And every one has, like, tendrils and wisps heading in every direction. And so they border on chaotic and stylized, and they were really able to pull it off really well. The other thing that I realized is that most of these genies could be substituted for the other. So fire, water, and air kind of all look similar, and so with the right paint job, this could easily be a different kind of genie. And as we've seen with the others, this looks nothing like the manual of Freedy, but it still looks fantastic. And like the others, I'm honestly, I'm shocked at how well it printed. Uh, it does come in two pieces, the genie with all of the know, flame wisps or whatever they're called, and then the base. But you can see everything's headed off in a different direction, and there were just no issues with the print at all. So kudos to Mini Monster Mayhem for a detailed figure and a flawless print. Uh, in terms of size, it seems to be spot on like the, uh, the other genies. Uh, it's a large figure. Its head is probably about 12 to 15 feet off the ground. And in terms of resources, it did cost us $9, which as I've said, uh, is a lot for one figure, but not necessarily figures of this size and quality. Uh, we did print it alongside uh, some of the other genies. Uh, so we are at 946 total dollars spent, and we are still sitting at right around 40 days of total print time. So if you need an Afridi, definitely check out this one from Mini Monster Mayhem. Epic Miniatures also has a great set of genies. Next up, we have the last of the genie cousins, the water-dwelling, Merid. 